<coughs> Excuse me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bats the Future, the game, the final part. I already beat, I already beat the fifth one. I just wanted to see what I had to do, but yeah. So, yeah. So we're going to go to new game. And hell no, we don't mean no goals. So, yeah. Alright. Tall Tale Games. A universal license. About six. I mean, five. Ep our time. First things first, guys. Wow, this this thing's still in here. I got Marty. <laughs> Hello. Marty, you're awake. Good. Ah, uh, Emmett. Where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the roof. You know, you really should try to work things out with your dad. If you give him a chance, he might just surprise you. I'll keep that under advisement. But first, I need you to perform an important mission. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh, I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah. Is that good? Good? It's fantastic! Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll... Damn! What? It's Edna! But... Okay, Emmett. One static accumulator coming up. All right. Yeah. Jeez, Doc. Watch out. You almost ran me over. Yeah, Sorry Doc. Sorry about that, Martin. Jeez. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. So, how are the time circuits? Still broken. I've got a few ideas, but I'm occupied with other problems today. So, is that what I'm destined to build for the Expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And, and some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Oh, Doc. yeah. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc! It was science! Even if you screw up Emmett's chances at the Expo, there's no way he'll give up science now. He's too committed. You don't know me like I do. After he fails at the Expo, he'll be in need of comfort. And Edna's already arranged a romantic little trip up to the lake. Ooh. Well, that sounds fun. You can't want Emmett back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. But if I don't become a scientist, she'll never get the chance to vent her crazier ambitions. You can't give up science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science. But if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the Expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure, Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No! Ah! Oh, great, Doc. What the hell? Where'd it go? Give me- Oh, come on! 
Here, little static thingy. This one, I was confused when I first tried this. You had to climb the, you had to climb up here and w wait for it and grab it. I can't it. reach it. Wait, grab it. I can't reach it. Wait. Gotcha. Gotcha. Whoa. Uh, am I dead? You, yes, you, boy, you have died. Oh, I'll be quiet right here. The future is coming today. There's a shiny new tomorrow on the way. A day of invention is at hand. It's a mystic futuristic wonderland. Just around the bend, my friend, you'll see a dream or two. If you care to dream and dare to dream, your dreams can all come true. There's a world of wondrous wonder on display, because the future is coming today. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all, but I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. Hey. Say, don't you have to get that Watchma Browns booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Because the future is coming. It's almost here now. The future is coming. It's getting clear now. The future. Before we let's go. Before we go, and here he comes, right on cue. Mind. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective. But you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Crockett. What's going on here? Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think uh... now. Wait a minute. That's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. It was my plan to get him back to inventing what he should be inventing. Yeah, you tell What's him, Marty. Point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Sonny Crockett really is, and where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Sonny? Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Shmirnov. Thanks a lot, Doc. An anarchist! A foreign agitator bent on sowing chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo! Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but uh, I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. Come here. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose, but she's been getting some... Hold on a second, guys. No, I forgot to do. I forgot to turn on the... Oh, keep that like that. Where's subtitles? Oh, here you go. Right. I'm cloud in town ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. And, well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Well? I'll dig something up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better... Uh... Where is he, anyway? 
Wait, you haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Oh, you're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? Okay, so I gotta find Emmett. All right. And do something about Edna. All right, we're gonna go get tickets from Trixie. Hi, Trixie. That's Techni to you, kiddo. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know. Now, what can I do you for? Can you? Tell me about the attractions. So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the Glass House, the Future Furnishings, and of course, Enlightenment Under the Sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself! Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. How much are tickets? How much are tickets? Aw, oh, put your money away. Here, you're kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. Thanks. Happy to help. All right, now this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go to House of Furmishin. Where is it? Is this it right here? Yep. Okay. We're gonna go here. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just you see, always. Hey guys, you see, <clears> throat> throat> excuse away. me. You guys see the flowers here? We're gonna take the flowers. This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and not press that. I mean to press that. We're gonna go over here. We're going to go over here. Take the flowers and switch A it with this. Plan. What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tannen's speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. Okay. Now watch this, guys. What? <laughs> All right. Greetings again, hmm? mortals. This is Techni, Muse of Progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. All right, now... We're just going to put this in here for now. Until we, uh... Okay, call me a snoop. You just put the flowers in here. Now we're gonna go into the house of glass over there. Okay. You don't need to remember that, by the way. Just there. It's past the house of furnishings. Go over here. You go in here. Sorry about part four, guys. Um, episode four, but... Hmm. No one in here. What do you think? Quite a setup, huh? The expo? Sure. But I was wondering. 
Have you seen Emmett? He isn't at his booth. Odd. Well, he hasn't left the hall. I would have seen him. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. See you around. Enlightenment awaits you under the sea. Greetings. Hi, Trixie. Now, what can I do you for? We're looking for Emmett. I've seen Emmett around. I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face. Yeah. Uh, uncle or something? Or something. Thanks. All right, so... So he has to be in the house of glass. We don't. I know he's in here, but why did it not? Because I saw him go in here before. Hmm. No one in here. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Dudo, Jacques Dudo, at your service. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A distracted look. That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were headed into the house of glass. Great, thanks. Alright, so so I think we talked to him we we can talk to that guy. Now we can go in the house of glass. See? Hey, Emmett, come out of there. Don't listen to him. Perfect. Okay, now we go into the house of glass. Okay, Emmett. Let's get you out of here. Emmett! Emmett! Don't listen to him! He he's crazy! I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas glass. Unbreakable and soundproof. Uh... Soundproof glass. Great. Our living space can be configured to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in. Or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall. Alright, so... That's what we need to do. Okay, so... So we're gonna go back down here. Let's open this door here. And open this. All right. Then we go over here, and then we go down here. We have to push this in. Something's blocking it. Wait, hold on. What's it? Oh, I see now. Hold on. Come on, let's go up here. Maybe I wasn't supposed to, um... Um, how do we say this? Um, close this? Okay. 
Okay, now we can go on down. Push this. Oh, push it out. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now we gotta go over here. Push this back. And then we can open this door here. There we go. Now. Now tell me, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what your favorite scene of a Back, the Back to the Future, the movie. It can be any... Any movie you like. This. Hold on. We gotta go up here. Move to the side. Go up. Now we can open this. That's how we can. That's how you get out of the house of glass. It takes a lot of hard work. Damn it! Where'd you take him now, Doc? Next up on our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in Pond Scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot! Thanks, Trixie. I'm truly honored to be here today among all you pointy-headed type people. Like the lady said, I labor in the field of Pond Scum. I don't even like algae cakes, but free samples are free samples. And we take the whole thing, because they're free. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology, but I fail to understand what you're... Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with them? Stop! Emma? Help! I'm being attacked! Sonny! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boys obviously are confusing it. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. But... If you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm gonna have you expelled from the hall. Expelled? I don't even go to school here. Professor Duteau, huh? At your service. Hmm. Where'd you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, Okay, sera, sera. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very interesting. Huh. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. Oh, no, let's let's give him his algae cakes back. Nah, I don't think so. How about an algae cake? Sure thing, Mister. Wait a minute, you're the guy that makes the algae cakes? But I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey, 
You're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice! Ah, oh, for the love of... No algae cakes for you, Buster! Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. You do. It's, uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Oh, give me a break. Of his kitchen special, two free. Hey, Artie. That's Carl Sagan in the deep sea diving suit, and he's holding Emmett captive in the bathosphere. You're making a pretty serious allegation, mister. I'll have to look into it right after the show. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a P ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Hmm. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the bathosphere. Well, then. Mon Dieu, what is the matter? The gears, uh, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the bathosphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. All right. Come down, please. The bathosphere exhibit is currently closed for repairs. Oh, wait. The next of the Hill Valley Police Force. Officer Parker is going to demonstrate a few of the many marvelous tools that our boys in blue will soon have at their disposal. The criminal element has truly met his match today. Officer Parker? Uh, it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained, but I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, how about a round of applause just for the heck of it? Alright, this is what you do, guys. Step back! You're clipping the hose! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. So just stand on here. Just, you don't touch anything. Just stand no on here. Superstition. A doom. It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. There's not. Just keep standing. He'll give in. I command you uncrimp that hose! Funny, you'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathosphere. I... I don't know who, who, what you're talking about! He'll give it's in. as if you two were connected somehow. He'll give in. Step off the hose! Raise the bathosphere, Doc. I walk to it! Then neither will I. Just keep standing here. See? He'll give in. So the lords, the gears, they have become unstuck. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. Get you out of there. Uh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. I think he took his wallet. Oh, remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before. Funny thing is, I don't even remember going mm. in there. 
Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush. I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where did he go? Do you know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, I know how that is. What's this? Oh, yeah. Edna made Detective Parker shut down your booth. He says he can't go against her. Oh, yeah? Unless we dig up some dirt that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. So that's what we'll do. Hiya, folks! Now can you please leave me alone to do my job? In a minute, I'm not quite through yet. Oh, hello, Shmirnov. Do you know what she made him do? Yeah, come here. Listen, if Carl Sagan shows up again, you're not gonna let him lead you away, are you? Are you kidding? My sole concern now Welcome. is to get back up to my electrokinetic levitator. Good man. Assuming we get Parker to open your booth back up before they call your name, is the levitator ready to go? I'll accept the power source. You did bring the static accumulator, Welcome. didn't you? Yeah, I've got it. You want it now? No. Wait till we get back to the booth. All right. Gotta run. All right, guys. Some sense in those two. Oh, a Sisyphean task, if ever there was one. Now to now, I'm going to show you how to get rid of Emna for good out of this place. Okay, you go into the House of Furshins here. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push. How are you guys liking this series so far? You, you, you like it? Hey! Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. We want to do the second one, the phone booth of the future. Klondike 4253. Hill Valley Expo, where the future is coming today! This is Check Me News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? Uh, and we gotta say Carl Sagan. This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you want? And you say you want to talk to, uh... Can you M put Edna, Edna Strickland on the phone for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. Mr. Sagan? What happened? I thought you were distracting Emmett. I was? Oh, yes, uh, of course I was. Then why is Emmett standing here, valiantly trying to convince Detective Parker that he should be allowed to go through with this ever-so-dangerous display of wrong-headed technology? What can I say? I was outsmarted by that wily Yakov Smirnov. Well, that puts a crimp in our plan. Yes, yes, our plan. About that plan. I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? But it's your plan. I mean, I I'm worried that you're a little unclear on the details. You were supposed to keep Emmett distracted, but it appears that you've been foiled by Mr. Smirnov. What can I say? He's too smart for an old fogey like me. So I see. Now we just gotta say, what's your secret? It's on the bottom here. Regarding, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that? As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? You're still sore about going to jail. Uh. That was the dog's fault. If he hadn't come galumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away. And I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. She's the speakeasy arsonist. Carl, is somebody with you? No. It's just you and me. You know, 
I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women flaunting their depravity to the we world. Go. And the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. Uh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Hang up. What? Conversation terminated. Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. Okay. You see it? Okay, now we have to leave. Hmm? Hiya, folks. It's me, Techni, Muse of Progress, gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift could Hill Valley offer the world than this magnificent science and technology exhibit? Hey, folks. If you haven't done so already, I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at Furnishings of the Future. Right here in our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. Damn it. Hold on a second, guys.